This morning, somebody sent a very nice uh, message to me. Interesting joke. It really clearly reflects the psyche, the type of mind we have in our generation. Every time it was, in our generation it is much more. What I have has become more important than who I am. A man invites, you know, advertises for a marriage. He is a 50 year old person and he wants to marry a woman between 40 50, anybody, no problem. But there is a strict condition. The condition is the girl, the woman must have a tractor. <laughs> Don't ask why. That is his condition. That is how people marry, you know. So they have their own conditions. He said, you should, I should marry, but you have one condition. I will marry that woman. But you should have, that woman should have a tractor. And please send the photograph of the tractor. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Eh? Naturally, because he is not marrying the tractor, he is marrying the person. But he is interested in the tractor picture, not the person. If you are laughing at him, don't you think we should laugh out ourselves? I want to marry you. Please send the photograph of your body. I want to marry you. Can you tell me what job you are? Oh, I see. I want to marry you. Can you uh, send me your bank balance? A certified copy from the bank? I see. Taking all these pictures. <laughs> what are we doing? As speakers? The whole idea of who I am and who I have is so confused, that fine line is gone. That is why today our own personal life is in such desire, total mix-up, the person doesn't know anything about it. An Upanishad student, one who is going for this knowledge, is straight away interested in himself. Because what he has, is not interested in. Plenty, everything is useless. It doesn't mean anything anymore. I want to know about myself. 